pays off. What are they supposed to do? Have their own Seder or, or forget about it or wait till next year or what? Seriously. I, there very, are a lot I, of people like that. I'm very serious. I think that uh, if that's really the case, then instead of being Beseder, I think it's low Beseder. I think it's, it's, it's low Beseder that the question should even have to be asked. I think that there are many, many uh, tens and hundreds of thousands of people, if not millions of people, who invite uh, people to their Seder. And uh, I, would, I would hope that this is only an academic question. Uh, it's in, not. In, in, in every community, there are community Sedarim. In every community, there are countless amounts of people who have open homes. And I think the way we begin the Seder is by inviting everyone. Uh, if someone has not yet found uh, the invitation, then surely there are uh, many, many agencies, there are many, many organizations, there are many yeshivot, there are many uh, batei knesset, there are many batei midrash, who would love to have these people join. If they can't find it, uh, I think we could just together help them uh, locate the, the proper kind of say that would be most befitting and most enjoyable to their inner selves. But in the theoretical sense, if really someone is in an un, on an isolated island and really has nowhere to go, Yes, then they should observe Pesach themselves and join together with uh, uh, spiritually holding hands with the entire Jewish people who are celebrating at that very moment together with them. But I, I don't think that's the reality in any community that's known to me. Thanks, Samir.